Rotec KSRO Series KSRO 6000 The Ultra High Flow Reverse Osmosis System Fixed Recovery Rate of 65% High Pure Water Production of 6000 GPD 1000 LPH One Button Operation Super Easy Operation No Regulation Valves Multiple KSRO 6000 units can be installed in parallel for projects up to 20,000 liters per hour, providing advantages over custom-made systems for each project. 1. Equipment and shipment costs are reduced by 50%. 2. The production capacity can be easily adjusted to meet actual water demand. 3. No interruption during maintenance. 4. This system requires less space than traditional 8040 membrane systems. 5. The unique pulse flush technology reduces the risk of operational errors. Watch the video for an organic farm project, featuring 10 parallel KSRO units producing 10 cubic meters per hour of permeate flow. Let's go! Okay, now we are at the installation site for KSRO 6000 on a blueberry farm. This project required row water production of up to 10 cubic meters per hour, and we have designed 10 units of KSRO 6000 to be connected in parallel to meet this demand. The raw water pipe is coming from here, using a 2 inches UPVC pipe. Raw water passes through a booster pump with a BSD controller, followed by an anti scalant dosing system. It's then fed into 10 units of KSRO 6000 simultaneously. At the entry point of each KSRO 6000, a 3 quarters of an inch pipe with a check valve is used followed by a pre-filter to remove particles larger than 5 microns. After passing through the system, the purified water exits through a 3 8 of an inch black tube connected to a 2 inches distribution pipe, flowing out at a rate of 10 cubic meters per hour. Row concentrated flush water is drained through a solenoid valve, which is connected to a 3 quarters of an inch pipe and a check valve, leading to a 2 inches distribution pipe for disposal. After ensuring that all pipework, filter cartridges, and membranes are properly installed, the machine can be started. Before turning on the RO system, the raw water booster pump and anti scalant dosing system must be activated first. The first KSRO system can then be turned on to observe its operation. During initial startup, the KSRO system begins with a 20 second startup flush which fills the system with water and flushes out any contaminants in the pipework. After the startup flush, the system enters production mode with a 2 to 3 seconds delay. Once the first system is confirmed to be operating normally, the remaining systems can be turned on one by one.
after all systems are turned on, the system will operate automatically. As can be seen, all distribution pipes are properly aligned, with the raw water feed at the bottom pipe, purified water in the middle pipe, and concentrated water drain at the top pipe. During production mode, the controller displays the real-time TDS level of the purified water. Each KSRO 6000 unit has a flow rate of 18.5 liters per minute, or slightly more than 1000 liters per hour. The purified water production takes about 2 minutes before the KSRO enters pulse flush mode, draining accumulated concentrate water for 10 seconds. During this time, the purified water is stored in a large tank outside, ready for irrigation. As can be seen, during the 2 minute production time, the purified TDS level rises before the pulse flush begins. Now you can see that the permeate flow meter drops suddenly, indicating the start of the pulse flush and a 10 second countdown on the controller. The pulse flush allows for the rapid drainage of the RO concentrate through the solenoid valve, preventing membrane fouling during the preceding 2 minutes of production. Now you can see the KSRO has resumed production mode with a lower TDS value in the permeate stream, this production mode and pulse flush mode will continue to occur repeatedly until the tank is full. Another major benefit of having multiple KSRO 6000 units for larger production is that you can turn off part of the system for maintenance or when less water is needed without interrupting production. This allows for system maintenance to be done one unit at a time in any given time. Whenever the system is manually turned off, the feed solenoid valve will be closed, preventing water from entering the system. This allows for the replacement of filter cartridges or membranes. Additionally, unlike traditional systems, the KSRO does not have any regulator valves for adjustment providing greater reliability and eliminating the possibility of user error. The focus should instead be on the proper design and operation of the pretreatment portion to ensure a longer lifespan for the membrane based on the quality of the raw water. Let's take a look at the main control panel that powers all 10 systems. There is a power breaker for each machine, as well as a timer relay. It allows the systems to start up automatically one by one with an interval of 5 seconds, acting like a soft starter for traditional large RO systems. This can avoid sudden voltage spikes that may cause a system failure. That concludes our introduction to the installation of KSRO 6000 in parallel for larger capacity requirements. Thank you for watching this video.